A lot of mana sealed chests, so we'll... Oh, wait. Walking along this path, you see a massive runestone gate blocking the road. Nearby, you see a rune formation that might be connected to the rune gate somehow. Shortcut. Sweet. I didn't even realize I just bypassed everything by taking the loop around. I guess I could have looked at it, but I'm... I'm zonking. I'm tired. Should have done cleansing rain. Should have done cleansing rain, but that's okay. Well, it's okay. It doesn't heal them. Okay, it heals them a fair bit. It's not that big of a deal. Because if I do Cleansing Rain, then we don't have to think about it. Do a Warblade on the other guy. Wow. That move does a lot of damage. I guess these Vampire Bats really don't have that much HP. It's really just the fact that they keep healing themselves that makes them, um, problematic? But not even that problematic, honestly. Oh, jeez, Cleansing Rain actually is a huge team heal. Like, that's, uh, it's 400 HP a turn. Yeah, I guess I should, uh, I should start using Cleansing Rain a hell of a lot more often. Mana Spider. Okay, uh, well, what do we do? Does it stack? Let's see, Gaia's Fist doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Guess I'll just Cannon Blast the spider. Wait, what was... What was that that I just did? That wasn't a Cannon Blast, what move was that? Because I punched him and then I shot... What? Oh, was it Obliterate? I might have used Obliterate on him. I don't think I've ever actually seen... Obliterate get used before. Just gonna use a heart bleed. It'll do plenty of damage. Because between the bleed and the other stuff. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Alright, whatever. Easy solution. Because the bleed will definitely kill him now. But not if I kill him first. You know, one of the things I really like about this game uh, that I gotta give it credit for is the setting is very... It's not original, you know, it's kind of dark fantasy-ish. But it looks really nice. I picked up uh, Elex, the game by uh, by the Gothic developers. I guess they sent me a, a press copy, but uh, so they sent me one, and I've been messing around with it a little bit, and it struck me just how uninteresting the world was. Like it looked nice, but I'm looking for worlds that like feel cohesive, original, and interesting, and maybe this one doesn't fit it necessarily, but it it feels like this is a world that somebody cared about when it was being made. Um, I find in a lot of games the world isn't cared about. I kind of, ooh, Rift Gargoyle. That's a new new creature and it looks drop dead gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna lead, oh. Nature's Wrath? I think Nature's Wrath is the is the new move. Increases the crit chance of all allies for two attacks. That's kind of nuts, actually. Effectively, uh, yeah, Garrison, not Garrison, Calibretto and Gully feed really well into uh, into Garrison being a crit monster. 
which I think we're going to want to pull off on this one. I'm going to take out the spider first. But, uh... You know, I, I was complaining uh, fairly early on about uh, not being too interested in... Not being too interested in in the first Darksider game because it was a boring world that I felt like it was there was care put into the characters and the monsters and stuff like that but for some odd reason they chose to set it in like futuristic New York sort of okay so I'm gonna try berserking him Please tell me I can use Nature's Wrath first. Yes. Can we shatter him? Yes. Okay, we're fast, fast enough to shatter him. And then we do the crit up. Less effective, but we just stacked hella bleed on the guy. I'll take it. That was cool. Yeah, if he hadn't used that damage shield, he would have gone down from that. That was that was cool. Yeah, we've got a We've got a strong ass combo. In this team. Uh let's see. Could do another berserk. Yeah, we'll just do another berserk. It'll cost him a little bit, but uh Let's see, can I shatter him again? I can shatter him again. Yeah, you sh I should use shatter more, shatter more often. It's hella cheap. Oh. Didn't give me the appropriate timing, but that's fine. The bleed's gonna take him out anyway. Oh, and that was just the first, uh, that was just the first round. Okay. So it's Gully. We don't have any more... SP. Let's do a uh, cleansing rain. Blade master. Blade master. I kind of wish I could see how much damage I do over the course of all of this, but I think we smoked him. I think we smoked him. <laughs> oh, this game is satisfying. It it's a very long burn. Like actually it's one of the shorter RPGs I've I've played. Had the pleasure of playing. You know, ultimately I think we're only gonna make it up to about 40 episodes on this. This is what, episode 30? Um And I'm okay with that. I don't I on one hand. I'd like it to be longer. I'd love to get more into this world and experience it some more. Holy shit, that was a lot of EXP. We did have an EXP shrine going into this, so Gully's up to 24, and Calibretto's not too far behind. And Even more excitingly, Garrison's almost 25. Um, can I go in here? No. Requires five crystal keys. I'm going to have to figure out where to get those. I, I, I am very aware I'm in the wrong zone here. But I figured I'd check it out early for bonus EXP and materials. Well, let's go back and uh let's go back and deal with Gully, I guess. That's the easiest thing we can do. I just realized we've got some creepy ass castle like right up here. Ancient gate. I don't think I'm getting through that. We probably have two or three dungeons left. Yeah, we might get a little bit above 40. It really depends on how fast we uh we run through those zones. All right, whatever. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, so we can make Firestorm. We can't make Firestorm. We do have one living stone slab. That's good. I'd make Medusa's gaze, but it's not going to help me that much. Did I just learn how to make these or no, no, no. We we're limited on the the types of armor that we can make. 
Right, back to it. Well, first and foremost, I should make sure that Gully does not have weapons. Okay. Uh, so swift face gauntlets will be nice. But yeah, we already have equipment for her. I'm glad I double checked. <laughs> 7,800 damage. I really wish there was a her damage scales based on um, whatever her stamina is. That'd be amazing. Well, that's okay. All right, so she's fully equipped. He's almost there. It's gonna be a shame to step away from the. Uh, the overcharged weapon. Losing Invigorate's gonna hurt. Mm, probably worth it, though. Probably definitely worth it. Then again, Gaia's Wrath will help. We'll see. I don't know. So she's got some points that we can get. Sure, why not? I wonder what the max of HP in this game is. We will probably find out it's uh, 9,999. But there's a possibility it's not. I don't, I don't know. Oh, we should probably go enchant things. Now, now that I'm thinking about it. I keep saying I should do alchemy, but we have yet to actually need it. Sort of. Welcome back. Okay, so we've got... Can't do holy, can do juggernaut. Can't do possessed. Well, we can do juggernaut. Specifically on mutiny. I've got a fair amount of available epic parts, so I'm gonna burn through that amount. So this way we'll end up with just a strong weapon. Possessed would be nice, but we'd need the Pale Lysolot Claws. So the Stoneheart Demolishers are no good. We also have like a Vampire Killer and a couple other things that we could look into. Okay, so can't make Iron Will, can make Nimble. Hey there, Solidified goodbye. slime hearts. Well, actually, the flame still My knowledge is yours. Still he always learn. Nothing to Welcome. buy or sell. Browse wares. More this is all just the most basic stuff. Okay, yeah. I guess the last one to check would be: Does this guy have anything? Yeah, for some reason, Strongmont wasn't on the list, so I had to farm extra to get the, the Crimson Garden. Go find. Lock boxes, which is why I've got a bunch of uh, level 24 gear ahead of time. Okay, well, hey, looks like we've got another, uh, we've got another warp point up ahead, too. That'll be helpful. All right, I... Yeah, this is working out way better than I thought. We're actually going to be the appropriate level for stuff. Though, before I go into the next dungeon, there's actually a huge temptation on my end. To, uh, there's a huge temptation on my end to ignore it for a bit uh, and go do the arena. Because I bet we could do the, uh, the level 20-something arena, like, with no problems. There's a big mountain in the center. I just realized. Damn. I love I love the world map. Like, I've been playing a lot of open world games lately. Uh, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn, Breath of the Wild, Elex, sort of. Uh, Shadow of War. You know, not all of these have hit my channel at this point. 
Uh, but I have a fair amount of experience with them. And... They're interesting. I really, I really enjoy a good open world game, but a lot of them just feel kind of bland and uninteresting. Um, but I have to say, some part of me actually hopes for a, uh, a game with a big open world like this. You know, a bunch of nodes to stop by and check out. Maybe a little bit more, uh, activity going on in like a, a per area basis, but still. Could do a, an earthquake. We could do a taunt. If only her overcharge limit was higher. But then again, her defense her defenses are ridiculous. I just wish I could give her some kind of proper counterattack. Thunder, son of a bitch. Alright. Well, let's get Cleansing Rain going, because we've already established it's kind of ridiculously good. Okay. I could do a Warblade. Yeah, let's do a Warblade on Ice Sucker, seeing as he can stun me. The spiders aren't that big of a deal. Uh, let's see. Got this, and I guess it'll be Gully's turn. I'll give up on whatever I was going to do with Gully. Not that I really remember. Uh, Heroism, Quake Shot, Barrier Swing. Barrier Swing does decent damage. I kind of wish some of this stuff would actually carry over between uh, from round to round. Oh, jeez. These spiders are not durable. I guess if I could carry stuff over from fight to fight, though, we could just repeatedly go back to the, like, a really low area and just demolish it super lazily. Yeah, I, I'll take that back. Oh, and Garrison's up to level 25. That's everything I could have hoped for. Because now his damage goes up by a whole hell of a lot. Sorry, Chaos Eater. Hello, Cloud Strife. Oh, there is... That is... That is just... That is just Cloud Strife. Alright, whatever, don't care. We got the Winding. I'm curious. Might not be anything I can deal with yet. A foreboding statue looms above you. Are you ready to begin the maze? How does it work? Reach the end of the maze before the fourth bell tolls to complete the maze. For daring, there are three pressure plates throughout the maze. Reaching them before completing the maze will yield a greater reward. Sure. I'm not much of a maze guy. And we're timed here. Do we have fights? We might be. There's something over here. Dead end looking thing. So it's it's just a timed maze with a, a loot reward at the end. Dead end. Dead end. I wonder if it's procedurally generated or not. Twice. Um, pardon? Shoot. We went. We went the wrong way. I'll come back here later, probably. Cause, like I said, not great on mazes. 
That's how we get that. Though... I think it's just a shortcut. There's also like a journal in here and a couple other things. Doesn't help that I don't entirely know where the exit is. Okay, endless maze. It... Let's see, I did not complete the maze, that's fine. It's a journal of a mage named Barnall. It's made from exceptional materials. Most of the entries are incoherent except for one. It returned and offered me a vision of the previous nice occurrence. I had a good laugh when I saw that Marcus got lost in the long stretches of the south. The fool wasted so much energy, but even he didn't last three nights. This is my point. This is the point of my research. How frail are we underneath? Once the illusion of power is stripped away, what are we left with? Someone so certain about their strength and safety. And underneath all of this chaos, that can rob you of everything in a moment. No one sees this except for me. How long can we continue fooling ourselves? The world will see it. I have recorded it in the Farseer. So is it the exact same maze again? It looks like it. Okay. Well, can I give up? I... I'm gonna come back later. One, we don't have Garrison Sprint anymore, and two, uh, I'm kinda tired and... I gave up. I don't know. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Watch me bug out the game because I gave up on it. I'm not against doing the maze, but it's also one of those where I'm just sleepy. Maybe I'll... I'll run the maze silently. And, like, just kind of record the process, but not actually, uh... Record the process, but not actually, um... Bother with it, if that makes sense. Or commentate it live. There we go. And I'll just, like, like do a speed-up version. That seems like the most, uh... Sensible way to go about it. Okay, let's do Sting. So it's 500 damage base, plus whatever the bleed is. It's a good bleed. I'm kind of glad that the Buster Sword is the, uh... Is the final... Well, no. It's not the final sword for Garrison. What am I saying here? There's no way it's the final sword. There's gotta be. There's gotta be more. Oh, this can't be the last dungeon up ahead. I'm gonna grab the uh, way station, blink station. Grab the blood grass. Pale Cathedral. It's interesting that they don't show a whole lot of the concept art for any of these. This. So are we summoning Diablo here? Because like this is a hundred percent where I fought Diablo. I'd love for these guys to make a Castlevania like, holy crap. Can you imagine like any kind of Metroidvania uh, with this kind of art style and animation? Oh, that would be absurd. I, oh, that'd be absurd. I, I'm just gonna kind of reiterate that because of just how like ridiculously good that would be because oh, I want to play more Metroidvanias I should uh I should sit down uh well hmm. I mean once I'm finished with this game I'll have some time it really depends I'm getting ahead on some of my work but not all of it but yeah, I'd like to sit down and maybe play, like, the Shantae games in Cave Story, which aren't exactly Metroidvanias, but whatever. This looks like a prayer or a ritual book. Whenever your hand moves near it, runes on the book's spine glow. 
A nearby scroll indicates some sort of incantation that needs to be read. When the incense burns, attempt to open the book. Okay, so it's we gotta we gotta burn some incense, which would be this. Wick on the ceremonial candle looks oddly thick and coated with some strange protective material. Fire Lord's Ember. Kind of convenient that I got that. I like the idea. You fight a you fight like an ancient evil fire demon elemental thing, and then you use it as glorified fire starter the entire time. Let's try and open it now. With the incense burning, you're able to easily open the book. Once open, the copy you copy the relevant parts you find useful. Oh. So we get a treasure tome of knowledge, uh, or a greater tome of knowledge, and a treasure map. Armaments of legend, dragonkind. These gauntlets of legend were crafted from draconic components, only the finest smiths of an age long past. Only by the finest smith smiths of an age long past. To repeat the process, one would need two components nearly impossible to find today. Dragon skin and the heart of a dragon. Considering the beasts haven't been seen for centuries, finding these would be tricky indeed. Still, a few of the ingredients are rumored to exist in the world today. Merchants long spoke of a, a dragonkin somewhere in the far north, sealed under lock and key. Finding it would be instant fame and fortune for any trader. The dragon heart was held by an ancient magus named Bel Belvros, who used the power of the heart to fuel his necromancy. He was entombed in Deadwatch after his death, taking the heart with him to his grave. So we actually already have part of that then ah oh, nothing here ah oh, that's okay I am really getting sleepy but that's okay I hope this game did as well as it deserves I don't know I just whenever a game like this comes out I'm just like all I want is for more, for this for this studio to succeed, uh, to grow, and to um, to just continue to be better. I'm gonna let's do an enrage. I'm effectively gonna raffle combo this guy. Okay, so there's a crit up. I could do Blade Master, or we could do Berserk. Nah, screw it. Let's do Blade Master. Ooh, that's good lighting. But like, what's a good example? This, uh, the developers for Hob. You know, a bunch of these like indie, indie slash double A studios that make these like fantastic games. I always wish they get get like a higher budget. Uh, just so they could make, like, even grander games within their scale. <sighs> Maybe part of it is, like... I feel like games like this kind of appeal to my sense of what the game industry used to be like. And I'm, I'm sure the games industry has always been uh, very... Obviously, I mean, money-focused. You have to be. If you're running a business, you can't just be like, money's no object, because that's, that's how Amalur happened. Or the fall of. But at the same time, there's something genuine about a game like this that Shadow of War doesn't have. And I'd like to see more studios kind of take up this torch again. That's probably hard. I don't know. Anyway, Calamity. Oh, we're learning recipes here. Oh, so these are the uh, these are the recipes for the best weapons in the game. Crafted during an ancient war, this mighty weapon was captured and disassembled to prevent further use. Parts of the cannon were used to construct a war golem, rumored for use by airship pi pirates. The energy cell was placed in an experimental duo of tanks used by bandits in the siege coast. Finally, the mineral used to stabilize this output is no longer manufactured. Only a fate stone from the mana rifts can stand as a replacement. A red dusty book on the shelf catches your eye. What do you do? Pull it. Hey. And maybe part of it is like there's imagination to this sort of thing. That, you know, it's not just like cookie cutter through and through. Okay, destiny and destruction. 
These pistols were commissioned by a bandit leader in Junktown who intended to use them as means for solidifying his control of the various bandit factions. Before they could be completed, the gunsmith de designing them was found dead and likely assassinated. Recently, an effort was made by black market, a black market group to finish and sell the pistols, known as Salvage Runners. They managed to gather most of the parts before infighting tore their group apart. The last known person to possess the components wrote to his associate saying that he was lost in an endless maze of hedges and freezing his plums off. So I have to do the maze. Well, let's, uh, let's complete... Let's finish running through this area. And then we'll go from here. Cursed Blade. Oh! So this is the, uh, this is Garrison's thing. Uh, they talked about this earlier. Not much has been recorded about the history of this weapon, save for its extreme power, which draws from an unknown source. The blade is long missing, presumed presume stolen or destroyed. Infused using a specifically attuned blade with the spirit of a power with the spirit of powerful warriors is said to awaken the cursed blade, summoning its power. One such spirit was a champion arena fighter who defeated all challengers in mortal combat. Another was seen wandering roads near southern the southern wilds, being trapped or tricked at a gate he could not traverse. Yeah, I'll have to look into those, because I'd like to get the ultimate weapons if they don't take too long. And we got a winking ring. We've never actually got something that rare before. Interesting enough. It's a usable item. Or not a... It's a quest item. That's different. Okay. I'm surprised there's no music for this cathedral. Just... Whoosh. Well, it's okay. Well, we got a little bit left, at least. We've still, we're still missing a staff, a shield, and probably fists. Considering every situation. Well, if I miss one of the books, we'll just go back for it. Ah, uh, uh, sleepy. What's this? Resting atop the stairs is a mysterious pool of thick red liquid that appears to be blood. It laughs and swirls gently, moved by some unknown force. In its center rests a vessel, intact and pristine, save for the blood stains at the base of it. Take the vessel. Dip the blood vessel in the blood fountain at the Crimson Gardens. Return with three amp ancient vampire fangs. So this is probably for Alamon. You know, vampire fangs plus blood plus a couple other things. Okay, so we're st we're still missing a a book maybe. But I'm just going to I'm going to head out. Maybe Nolan's ultimate weapon is elsewhere. Maybe I'm just missing missing the bookshelf. I'm sure you guys will tell me. But I wanted to head back to town. Yeah, I wanted to go take a look at uh what's required. So we are going to have to go kill those golems though. Uh the the two war machines out on the docks. I mean, I kind of figured I'd have to before we're done anyway. This game's not too hard to 100%. But yeah, let's let's see what's required to make some of these things. So the Cursed Blade requires Forlorn Soul Shard of the Brave and Desecrated Soul Shard of the Powerful. Resplendent Pistol hand Handles and Artificers Revolver Components. Dragonheart Phylactery, Phylactery and Dragon Scales. And Twin Power Core, yep. Salvage Behemoth Cannon, and a Fate Stone. These would be really good, though, for sure. Oh, Dragonkind is her fists. So yeah, at this point, we're just missing the, um... We're, we're really just missing the Staff Recipe and the Shield Recipe. And I think we've, we're already on the way for the Shield. Like, the Shield might not get crafted. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to go out of our way for them, though. Uh, the, the idea of getting those is really cool to me. Why did I grab those? <laughs> we definitely don't need them at this point. <laughs>